What's up everyone? Welcome back to our family channel. I'm Abel Albanetti. This is Shelly Albanetti. We haven't posted a video on our family channel in quite some time, but we thought this would be the perfect opportunity because we're going to be spending a week here at Disney World and Universal Studios. Uh, so today we're going to be bringing you a video of trying all the amazing food here in Animal Kingdom. And we're going to be starting off with, of course, breakfast. So where's this place? This is called Kusafiri. Kusafiri. And we have an amazing looking Mickey cinnamon roll right here. And then a croissant that is called what? The honey pistachio croissant. Yeah, this one, honestly, we got it just to try for the vlog because it doesn't even sound that great. But I'm going to start off with the cinnamon roll. And this right here was like $12 for both of these. So it wasn't all that expensive. Yeah, for cinnamon roll, seven like $7.99 is pretty expensive. It's a Mickey but cinnamon roll. It's Disney, you know, so you, what do you expect? Okay, this is kind of hard to cut, honestly. You need and a knife. Cut, yeah, should have got a knife too because holy crap. It's a cinnamon roll. Out of five. Out of five. I would say a four. Compared to cinnamon? Compared to cinnamon, yeah, I would say that is equivalent to a cinnamon. Oh, uh, good. That's really good. I love cinnamon rolls, so that's kind of not a fair comparison because it's really hard for me to get a bad uh, cinnamon roll. It's not roll. as good as that TikTok trend cinnamon roll with mm, the cream. Yeah. Not as good, so. But, I mean, that is pretty good. Brady, come I'll over here. Four, you want to try it's some? Good. It's good. It's good. Tell the camera. Is it good? Yeah. So this has like a honey glaze on it, and it makes it... A little bit different than just a normal cinnamon roll and it tastes really good so now we're going to try the croissant here it's like, mm. Ooh, that looks pretty good oh, that's really good actually really mm -hmm. those flavors pistachio i wouldn't think would be that good but oh, i like that yeah that is actually pretty good i would say for me anyways a three and a half. It's not something that I would like seek out to buy, but yeah, for what it is, yeah. it's good. I don't know if I would buy it again. Yeah. But if I was given it, I wouldn't turn it down. Yeah, like I would rather have like a sweeter one. And like it's only different. like four dollars. Yeah. So pretty good. Front row. Front row. Is that ride? I don't know if I could do it again. I was supposed to go right afterwards to ride with Lacey. But I have to like take a rest for a little bit, a break, because uh, I kind of feel a little sick. Eat a nice sick. big lunch first. Yeah, That'll eat a big lunch and then go jump back on it. That was, it's a lot of fun, best ride in the park, but uh, it's, it's too much. I get motion sickness very easy. Thank you. So for the second snack, we have Mr. Kamal's uh, seasoned fries. It comes with this like some kind of sauce. I think it's true ratcha meat. Okay, so we're gonna try that. And then we also got the chicken dumplings, which look pretty good. It comes with some kind of, I heard people say it's like a soy sauce a little bit. So we'll be trying those. Let's try the fries first. Oh, that's got a kick. <laughs> Went down my throat. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. That's good, the sauce, so I don't know. I feel like the sauce is really good, but those fries aren't like special. I'm gonna try without the sauce. I would still say that's a very good fry. Really? Yeah, you don't think so? It's good, but I'm not like, holy cow. I would give that a 4.2 out of 5. So what specific. You? All right, if we're being really, really specific, like a 3.8. A three eight. Yeah, I like thicker fries though. Oh, okay. Now, onto the chicken dumplings. Oh, that's good. Those are like. Those are really good. Mm -hmm. Dumplings. I would say that's a five. Mm -hmm. It's like crunchy on the outside, but when you bite into it, it's very soft, and that sauce goes really well. Give it a these. solid four and a half. Only because nothing's perfect. Mm, that's good. Now we're in Pandora. This is where we decided to eat lunch. Normally when we come to Animal Kingdom, we eat at the exact same spot every single time. But this time we wanted to try something new. And they look like they have some very creative meals. So we got three different meals at this place. And this is what restaurant? The Tuli Canteen. Okay, hopefully you heard that. <laughs> and I got a chicken with beef with noodles. This place is kind of like what a chipotle. So you get to pick yeah. like your base and it was some kind of like herb sauce on here. 
And then we got something that a lot of people talk about is burger. What are these? These are cheeseburger steamed pots. These look amazing, actually. A lot really of people good. like do videos and pictures on these, and I can't wait to try these. So I'm gonna try this first, and then Shelby got a tuna. What was it? It's called the Ocean Moon Bowl. Ocean like Moon Bowl. Blue noodles. It looks really good. It has tuna in it. So, so let's try these burger pods first. It actually feels like a bun. Oh my gosh, that legit tastes like a hamburger. Inside right there. That is really good. Yeah. I would say out of five, I would give it a three and a half for a burger. Try the chips. Well, these chips are crunchy. What do you think? Three and a half. Is Three and a half. Right. Do you yeah. like it? I do like it. It is like a um, like the meat in a Big Mac. Meat in a Big Mac. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Herb sauce is good. Oh, that is super, super good. Wow, that chicken is excellent. How's the beef? I don't know about the beef, but the chicken's amazing. Chimchurri braised beef. That is so good. Really? This is a five out of five. How are those bobas? Are they that pretty? Is, yeah, they have like little bobas, bobas on there. <laughs> it's just for like the avatar world and stuff. Whoa. Whoa, they're very fruity. That is different. <laughs> That's good though. Yeah, this is amazing. So this has blue noodles, tuna, Watermelon radish, pickled daikon, rainbow carrots, avocado, cucumbers, red cabbage, and miso sweet soy drizzle. Her noodles are so cool looking. They're like green. They're blue. Oh, blue. Look at that. How is it? It's called the ocean. How it's is it? really good. Yeah, mine is excellent. Like, this it tastes is like a Pokemon. amazing. Like, I would get this at any restaurant. And this is only $17. I say only. Only. But for the park. Yeah, for the part that's pretty good, like mine was also uh, $17. These, for this whole meal, little hamburger thing, for $13 or $14. Now Shelby's gonna try mine. I wasn't gonna let her because mine was so good. But he wants to try mine. <laughs> not really, because I'm not, that is just amazing. I don't think you're gonna get better than mine. What? I really don't think so. That is just excellent. That sauce and that herb seasoning, so good. That's really good. It's really different. I like mine better. Oh, really? Okay, let me because try Because it's a Poke Bowl. Basically, with noodles. I'm gonna try to try a mixture of Shelby's here: Nate the blue noodles and tuna. These look like these look like clay noodles. That's really good. I still like mine better. I figured you would, but still I like, like mine better. We chose well. I would give that for a poke bowl. I mean, I'd give that like a four and a half. Oh my gosh, I is. forgot we were going out of five. I was like, out of ten? <laughs> <laughs> get an ice cream sandwich at Dino Bites and this is called the Dino Dig. I think this is a specialty cookie right now. They have like specialty cookies for what different occasions and stuff like yeah. this. I think this is what that is and I think it's just vanilla like ice seasonal. cream in between. Yeah, seasonal. And this is in between I think a chocolate chip cookie. What's the a, Dino? Chocolate? Dino? It's gotta be chocolate. It's gotta be chocolate. That's a soft cookie. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, that's just so good right now. It's so hot. I feel like it might be a snickerdoodle cookie. Mm -hmm. It's not You need to put yet. it on the screen what it is because mm -hmm. otherwise it's reviews for nothing. That's yeah, really that's good. Yeah, really good. I really like that. Yeah, the kids are not going to see this. They, they, they already they had ice cream earlier. I would give this on a hot, sunny day, four and a half. On just a normal day, I think I would give it maybe a three and a half. I think the cookie too, could be better. The cookie is kind of, I don't know, it's not the best. It doesn't have a lot of flavor, but with the ice cream yeah. on it, I don't know. I think it's, I mean, it's really good with the combination, but. I would have said a four and a half now and a four regular. Oh, really? I think it's better than you do. But. I'll go. 
it's good. Okay, this may not be food, but we had to get Starbucks. We did not get any this morning. We got coffee at the house because last time we came uh, a year ago, we spent what, like $200 on coffee? $250 on coffee because what we do is have Starbucks right when we got to the park and then again later on in the afternoon. And each time you order anything, you're gonna spend like $15 at Starbucks. So we made a pack that we would have coffee in the morning and then get a Starbucks drink later on in the afternoon. So that's what I did. So I got an almond milk Americano. So we're seeing the Finding Nemo show and anything that is indoors right now is the best. It is so hot here in Florida. Getting close to the end of the day and we decided to get some, of course, Dole Whip. You have to get Dole Whip when you come. Last time we came, we got something that was called the Scar. This is what? This is the Simba Sunset. And it's at a place called what? Camo Camo. We've had this before and I mean, it's really good, but the scar was we like the Scar and the Scar was like- It was what? green apple. Green apple. And we like that a lot more because this is strawberry pineapple. It's really good though. It's really good. If you don't have the scar to compare it to. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> if they have the scar, when you come here, I definitely recommend the scar over this. This but it is good. scar, I would give, from what I remember, like a five. <laughs> like I really liked it because I like that uh, apple taste. This one, I would give about a four, probably four. I think I would give this a four and a half, but I'm not four sitting next to the scar. Yeah, exactly. But it's really good. Kinley's over here eyeing it because she wants some. You want some? Yeah. Okay, you want to try some? Yeah. You go. Taste test. Okay. How many stars is that? A five star? Yeah. It is. <laughs> okay, after eating all day long, Shelby wasn't even that hungry, but I told her we had to get dinner because I'm still still hungry. I'm always hungry. So we're finishing off the night at a place that we normally always have lunch, and it's called what? Flame Tree Barbecue. Flame Tree Barbecue. And we had to go get their famous mac and cheese. So what's on top of this mac and cheese is pulled pork. And then on top of that is coleslaw and then uh, onion rings, fried onion rings. And we've had it before and it's super good. We never had the one that had onion rings on it. No. We've only got like the appetizer and it just has a coleslaw on it. And then what I got for my meal is just a half chicken, got some baked beans and coleslaw. So the main focus is just the mac and cheese because you know, everyone knows what a half a chicken tastes like a rotisserie chicken. You want some casing? Yeah, you do. <laughs> so I'm gonna taste the mac and cheese. Oh, it looks creamy. Shelby said she's not hungry, but once she tastes this, she's gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Okay. That's good. Wait, I'm gonna get one more bite to give it the rating. All right, that bite was better because it's mainly cheese mm -hmm. instead of the barbecue. I don't know, the barbecue to me and the mac and cheese doesn't mix like You'd completely. rather just have plain mac and cheese? I'd kind of rather have plain mac and cheese, but I'm gonna taste the onion ring now. The purpose of this. You can also buy plain mac and cheese. Oh, that's a good onion ring. Well, the onion didn't like pull out. Woo! That's good. Rating for this, I would give, I would give a 4.5. Okay. Ready? I give it four. Four? Well, that's not bad. No. Not bad. That's good. Chicken, I'll, get it I'll again. just give, give the chicken a taste just because. Chicken's always good. It's like not overcooked or anything. Oh, and then my sister over here got the mac and cheese. Okay. Rating, how how do you like the mac and cheese? Um, I would say maybe a four and a half. Four and a half, that's what we gave Very it. Very good. What? Shelby's over here complaining because I want to do another outro because I already tried to do one and three it was horrible. Three times. Not three times. Twice. All right, guys. So it is now 30 minutes past closing. We're just now walking out the doors. We ate a ton of food today. I feel super like bloated. Don't feel great. I feel gross. And we need to go get a shower because we're just super sweaty because it's, it's humid. humid here in Florida. I mean, no matter where you go in Florida, but when you're at the park all day, you just can't relax really like you go inside you get unsweaty then you come outside you immediately start sweating and you just feel nasty all day long uh, but the kids are all passed out oh, he's away. He woke up. okay hello uh brady's in here passed out kenley's the only one still with us 
and she is a, like a little trooper. She's doing great. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I know this is the first video back in three years. years. I don't yeah, know. and this is just day one of a whole week at Universal and Disney, and we're already starting off pretty rough. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out all the other videos. Please give the video a thumbs up and get attacked by a bug. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, guys, peace.